How to cover Linux part of the DevOps interview? What are the most commonly asked questions in this domain? Can you explain concepts such as SSH, networking, processes, or really the basics of Linux? If not, I got you covered. So in this video, we'll go through the, the most commonly asked questions in the DevOps interview related to Linux. Let's go. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So I recently bumped into an excellent video from Tutorial Linux where David goes through the most important Linux questions in DevOps part of the interview. I personally really find this type of videos very helpful because it always helps me to get some perspective on what can I expect during the job interview. So in this video I wanted to take uh, to record my take on the Linux interview. So I will show you what type of questions I would ask and also give you all the explanations on the answers. Additionally to streamline your learnings I also have prepared the material, the PDF material, the Linux cheat sheet that you can get absolutely for free with all the comments that I related to the to this episode. So we will go through the, the four chapters that just as the cheat sheet also reflects that. Starts with the basics. We're also going to talk about the processes, networking and security in Linux, which I think is a very comprehensive overview on what you might get asked, what you can be asked during the interview. Welcome to the channel. Here we talk about everything that can help you to become DevOps. So you will have the interviews with the experts that that are already in the role. You will have a mock-up interviews such as this one. I also do the tutorials about how to use different Linux tools such as for example Ansible or Azure. And on top of that, I also making the reviews of the certifications that you might be interested in taking if you want to be a DevOps engineer. Now, without further ado, let's jump into the questions. Thanks. Part number one, why Linux is so essential for DevOps. In the first part of the interview, I would ask some more of the, um, I would say, warm-up questions um, here definitely about your experience with Linux, about the distros you have been working with, such as, for example, Debian, Ubuntu, Red Hat or CentOS, as these are more enterprise types of the uh, Linux uh, dist distributions. I will be also interested in listening about your private projects. Did you integrate Linux with some other systems, such as, for example, Jenkins or uh, Docker? And now speaking about the other DevOps tools, it will be interesting for me to hear how do you see the role of Linux in the whole DevOps ecosystem. I already covered this part in the Linux Essential video. You can check out my link here. But just to more or less to reiterate, Linux is important for a few different reasons. It's of course our development environment here. We can manage the packages. We can we can script. We can automate many different things. We can build and test with tools such as, for example, I don't know. Um, Jenkins or GitLab. Of course, it's important from the container uh, perspective uh, with tools such as, for example, Docker or Kubernetes. And last but not least, Linux really seamlessly integrates with tools such as, for example, Grafana, Prometheus that are used for the monitoring of a different different servers. It's also very important in uh, this type of uh, discussion to mention things, uh, tools such as, for example, Ansible, Chef, Puppet. If you have experience with uh, automation that would be a huge plus for in your interview. Part number two, Linux basics. So then, then after we go through your CV with your through your profile, it'd be very interesting to ask some really basic Linux questions, such as, for example, how do you check uh, disk usage in Linux? Well, you just use the DF-H to see disk space in the human readable format. I would also ask you about the permissions on the file. So you, how do you change it with, for example, change mode? You make the change the desired permissions, for example, change mode 755 on the specific file. I would also ask about things such as, for example, how to check the kernel version on your Linux server, just the uname dash dash r or command or just a uname to see all of the um, to see uh, parameters that are related to your kernel. How do you verify for how long the server has been running? So here you can say basically two different commands. For example, top that can shows you the exact time that 
um, since server has been running and for example uptime that is also very useful it is important to see for example when you ssh to some server to see how for how long has been running has been has there been any interruptions has the server been stable so this is very important comment when it comes for the devops uh, position and admin job next question i think i could ask is for example how do you display all the environmental variables you can use the env command next question i would ask is for example how do you search for the specific files in your file system and i would use find and then we can dive deeper into how the find is being used so for example you can use the find to filter only the specific size the specific permissions you can also f fine tune the find command to search only for the files that are uh, owned by this specific user. Following that, I, uh, the interesting question would be, for example, how would you find and then remove all of the files that are more than 100 mega megabytes in the specific directory or in the subdirectories? So here you can use command find then a path dash type dash size and then dash exec and then you run some specific command that what do you want to do with the file so in this case is to remove also ask about a, a bit maybe about logging so for example how would you see uh, 100 lines of the growing file log file in the real time so here you can use command uh, tail dash n dash f log ta log file and these are really the basic questions and then I think I would could dive into a bit more um, sort of specific domain specific questions. Processes basics. As a part of the Linux admin or a DevOps into, or a DevOps positions, it's also very important to be on top with the different processes to see what is actually going on in your system. Processes are critical for DevOps because they allow effective really system resource management that are really ensuring the optimum uh, optimum performance of your applications in production or development environment. Processes are also important because it's really helpful in the troubleshooting or debugging. Monitoring processes really helps to identify the bottlenecks, high resources usage sources, misbehaves of the applications that can disrupt your DevOps pipeline. So this is why it's so important also for me to verify what is your current knowledge about the processes. Start with the very basic questions like, for example, how to view all the running processes in Linux. You would just use PS, PS with the different switches to see the all the listing of all the processes with the detailed information or for example, top, which is already mentioned in the uh, uptime question. Then the next question I would ask is, for example, how do you check the resource uh, usage for the processes in the real time? Here you can say, for example, top or htop that are really the great tools for the real-time monitoring of the processes and their resource utilization. The next question that pops to my mind is, for example, how do you find the specific process ID for a specific program? So here, for example, you can use pdof command or, uh, for example, ps with grep. That also would work. How do you terminate process in uh, Linux? You can just say that you use the kill command with the process ID. For, so, for example, kill 1234 to terminate the, the specific process. Then I would ask about, for example, how do you start the processes in the background? This is where you use ampersand at the end of the command. So for example, sleep 60 ampersand and then command runs in the background. Following that, how you do, for example, bring for background process to the foreground. So here, for example, you can say that you can use uh, FG followed by the specific job ID. How do you, for example, list the background jobs? So here you can use the job command to see all of the background ones. Uh, how do you change the purity of the processes? So here I would really can see what is your understanding of the commands such as for example nice and three nice which are really the um, commands to change or to start the process with the specific value. I think the next question would be for example how do you monitor a specific process continuously? So here we can use for example a watch, watch command with a ps or pgrep for example watch dash n1 or ps dash p1234 which is the monitor uh, process with the p1234 networking basics 
question set. So networking is really so critical for a DevOps uh, engineers while they working with the Linux systems because uh, networking really facilitate the communication between different applications, services, or systems. As DevOps pipelines really involves deploying different applications, as being a, a DevOps engineer really involves being part of this deployment, managing cloud servers, it really requires strong networking and troubleshooting and network troubleshooting skills in order to succeed in your position. At least from my experience, uh, I found networking really uh, very often challenging because of the different settings, but also very rewarding once you already nicely configure and or you are able to troubleshoot the specific scenario. So in the DevOps interview, I would ask some questions related to networking. I would, of course, start with the very classic, I think, command, which is ping. So, for example, how you would see that the remote server is operational. So here we can use ping followed by the IP of the remote server. How do you display all network interfaces and their statuses? So here you can use many different commands, but I think the most popular one is the IPA or, uh, IF comp or IF config, even though IF config is now depreciated. How do you view all of the active TCP and UDP connections? Here you can use, for example, the SS-TULN or netstat command. How would you would determine the path of the packet towards the destination. So here you can use commands such as, for example, trace route and trace route followed by the uh, destination. How do you resolve a domain name to an IP in uh, Linux? So here you can use NSLOOKUP or DIG. So for example, you can use DIG and then followed by the uh, by some page. How you will capture network packet for analysis in Linux? So here you can use two different ways. Of course, the native Linux TCP dump, which is very advanced troubleshooting utility. And you can use a different switches here. So for example, you can filter only TCP or UDP package, some specific ports. So for example, port 80 to see whether there is any traffic on your HTTP port. And finally, I could also ask you about some specific troubleshooting scenarios. So for example, a server isn't resolving the domain names, how you would troubleshoot. So here we can have a different uh, steps that you can take. So for example, check the DNS uh, server configuration in the Etsy resolve conf or a dig to test the DNS resolution, verify the connecti connectivity with ping. So you see there are different options that you can, uh, different directions that you can go in this type of questions. Another question I would ask is, for example, how you would troubleshoot a port that is not being accessible on the server. So here you can also use the SS dash T U L N. You can verify the firewall rules with the IP tables and you can confirm that the application is listening on the port using the netstat or um, SS. Another question, for example, is how you would diagnose a packet loss in your server. So here you can use again ping and then ping with some specific switch, for example, ping dash C and the number of the packages that you want to send to some specific place. You can check the intermediary host, uh, for example, with the trace route. And you can, of course, uh, heavy lifting type of tool, but it's also utterly useful in case of the troubleshooting. Another question that I would be interested to ask is, for example, how you confirm a service is running and it's accessible. So you can see the status of the system with the system CTL status. You can also test the connectivity using NC and then the port and the IP. So you can see there are really many different things. You can also use curl to verify whether you get 200 from the server if the application is uh, is running on the web server. So again, many different points where you direction the, where you can go with this type of troubleshooting questions. Security basics question set. Last but not least, I would also like to touch a bit on the Linux security. So that also I think is very important when it comes for the DevOps position and in, in particular, SSH key, so a secure share pro protocol that is very sophisticated one when it comes for different options and functionalities that it gives us. Um, so here, for example, I will start with, again with the basics, ask you how do you use SSH, and then you say, for example, I use SSH to go to this, uh, to the, uh, to uh, connect to the remote server with my user and then IP of the, of the server. 
then I'll be also interested in uh, private public key infrastructure, which is also also an immense huge topic. So here I will just ask about the basic how the keys exchange looks like, what are the different types of the keys. So you have a private key that stays with you and then you have a public key that you distribute and then you establish the connectivity between different servers. So this is very important part of your, uh, that might be very important part of your uh, daily job when someone comes to you and say, hey, my uh, connectivity to the remote server doesn't work and why I need to do some development, can you please help me? So here I will also ask about, for example, how do you copy your key remotely? How do you copy your key to the remote server? How do you SSH with non-default port, such as, for example, 2222, not uh, just uh, 22? So basically, these are really important topics when it comes for the DevOps interview. And all of everything where I just today discussed, which is the basics, processes, SSH keys, and of course, networking is in my completely free Linux cheat sheet that you can get if you just put the comment under this video.